It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all tonight to what is an extraordinarily exciting evening for myself, uh, for Jill Jarman, who you will shortly meet, the composer of Sounds of Science, and for Dame Evelyn Glennie, who will, in the second half of this evening's proceedings, perform the world premiere of this extraordinary soundscape. So how do we get an orchestra to sound like clockwork? Well, clockwork is very like this, isn't it? We all think of all these moving parts that all move at the same time. So the idea was to get the orchestra moving in a very automated way. Trouble is, with clockwork, it runs out. Its kinetic energy runs out. So what you're going to hear is a little clip and the orchestra will slowly get slower and slower as the energy runs out. And in the live performance later on, you'll see Evelyn wind the orchestra up again. Well, I'm talking on behalf of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. Engineering and science should not be in separate compartments. They should be about joining creativity and arts and music t together. Uh, and if you do that, you, you really open up the beauty and excitement of science to a whole new audience. All ages were there. I think the youngest person in the audience must have been three or four. And the oldest would have been in their 70s or 80s. Um, absolutely rapt attention. It was amazing. I think Evelyn did a great job. Science and engineering is the most fabulous subject, doesn't matter whether you're interested in being a scientist or whether you want to be a musician and a composer or a performer or none of the above. The idea is that this is a way, we hope, of conveying the most amazing story in a medium which hasn't really been used to tell big stories in this way before. The main thing is, is that we can now take all of this into schools and excite young people into science through, in a completely different way that we've done before. I think the point was made very well that you know science is an art and it's an emotional response, it's about people, it's about feelings, um, it's about the kind of human mind questioning everything and wanting to find answers to it. It's definitely interesting to see like how music and different forms of creativity and arts can be used in science and how they're actually combined together. It was great, it was great. I enjoyed it, and I don't know anything about science.